So let's get more on all of what has gone on so far this afternoon. Let's get to Gene Munster uh, of Loop Ventures. Gene, welcome. And, and he's also talking Hi, about 2020 targets. He is, yeah, big deal. There's the near term around what Elon said just after the shareholder meeting. Then there's the long term. So we'll start with the near term. He reiterated their target of essentially 500,000 vehicles, up 30 to 40 percent from last year. This is a massive surprise uh, from my perspective, given all the headwinds that the company has had this year. From Elon's perspective, it's I'm doing exactly what I said I was going to do. I think what imagine what that number would have been if we haven't had the pandemic. And so I think that's been the biggest near term takeaway. But I also want to frame in the significance of today. I think it is an important day. I think today starts a slow page turn from Tesla being an auto tech company to an energy tech company. And I recognize that that may come across as tone deaf for uh, many investors, this idea of being an energy tech company. But that's really the substance about what we're gonna hear about battery day is uh, batteries, the energy piece of this is critical to ramping production of EVs. They need to uh, increase their production by 28 times of batteries in the next decade to hit their targets, 28 massive increase we're going to hear how they're going to do that. And when you increase battery production by that much, it creates a dynamic that is dangerous for traditional auto. Effectively, what you do when you're producing at that scale, you push costs down, and Tesla will use that to their advantage, lowering the price of vehicles. And I think investors are going to leave today with a long-term sense that uh, auto, if they thought traditional auto was in, in a tight spot, I think they'll think it's an even tighter spot. I think that's an interesting um, notion, Gene, an energy or battery tech company. But how, how then do the metrics um, with which you measure Tesla, how, do, how does that change? Is it no longer vehicles per year or vehicles per quarter? And what does it become? And why is this any different from traditional automakers developing more fuel efficient engines? That are, could they be considered energy tech companies? No, I, I think gasoline engines are are going to be a thing of the past. In the next decade, we expect the market share to be 40 percent. It's 3 percent of total cars sold. There is no long-term hope for gas. Uh, it is uh, it is going to they're going to go away. I think in terms of how investors, to your important question, how investors should ultimately measure this, it's about revenue growth. And the importance about being an energy tech company is it opens up massive uh, addressable markets. For example, on the battery side alone, we think about traditional auto. If Tesla is able to have 25% global car share, now that is a huge number. Think about GM at 15%, that's the highest one, but they have 80% share of EVs in the US. Let's say they get to that 25%, that basically implies that they'll do about 650 billion in revenue. And if this is viewed as a uh, tech, uh, energy tech company, uh, the stock will likely trade at a multiple of that revenue. Right now it's about a $400 billion market cap. And so, and one other piece when we think about your question about what's the substance of this, what is, uh, it sounds nice, energy tech company, but what's the substance of it? It is, again, getting to these massive uh, 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 untapped markets. One is around transportation, others around renewable energies in terms of batteries in the home or at the grid scale. And then there's other technologies, and I think this is going to be the piece that will progressively emerge in the uh, months ahead. Tesla taking technology that they have mastered in building cars and applying that to new markets. For example, you talked or Phil talked about the filtration systems. They have a great opportunity to get into HVAC and really change how homes are heated and cooled. But these are examples of energy problems ultimately that Tesla can help solve. Gene, you know, obviously Elon Musk, you know, he troughed, I guess maybe it was that webinar or podcast he did when he was smoking weed and you know, that was probably the trough, but he really seems to have grown into the role of CEO. Am I making too much out of it? Because I thought the existential risk was that he would fail and he seems to be flourishing. Is that really the hidden upside for Tesla right here? I think it's a big part of it. I'm always cautious. I'm a pragmatic person. And when I see that behavior, I'm always uh, cautious that it can reemerge. And so I think from an investor perspective, they should assume that uh, Elon's going to be doing some things that are out of bounds, I'm sure, in the years ahead. The fact that they're starting their meeting, subtle things. I mean, uh, you think about like Apple starts to the second when they have a meeting. It is uh, the precision is is just quite remarkable uh, for Tesla to even get close to starting on time, which they did today. 
uh, is a step that Elon is growing up. Um, we have to give him credit where it is due. And I think at the end of the day is when you're talking about changing these markets, you really uh, want somebody who uh, has those first order principles and Elon is the person to lead the company. Gene, always great to get your take. Gene Munster of Thank Loop you. Ventures. Uh, the question is, is the stock viable here? Uh, Bono and what do you think? Is it viable? I mean, if you believe the story, yes, it is. Am I personally buying <laughs> it here? I mean, I'm, I'm not, um, but I've missed a lot of the move, right? So clearly I've been wrong, um, but I'm not here to chase tops and advise other people to do that. With that said, if you definitely buy into the battery story, um, the, the length of the battery, the time of the battery, the cheapness of the battery, and, and what the new adjustable market will be for battery operated um, utilities, then yes, I can definitely see the thing trending much higher, but I don't understand that well enough. I don't have my pulse on that. And for those reasons, I'm not buying right here. 